And luckily the fire seems to have died down right now. You can see just a bit of smoke over my shoulder, but earlier you could see the plume of smoke all the way from North Phoenix. Drivers along 202 Saturday getting a front row seat to something out of a movie. High winds and hot conditions fueling a wildfire burning through Gila River Indian Communities District 6. Thick smoke covering the horizon, sending a huge plume into the air seen far north of the valley. Uh, I saw the fire about three hours ago or so. So I was coming back from my daughter's dance class and saw the plume on the other side of the mountain. First responders evacuating people living nearby the Santa Cruz fire, opening service centers and multi-purpose buildings for those fleeing. By 4.30, the fire growing to about 100 acres. We saw that there was a Chinook that was picking up water over at Firebird Lake, and um, my daughter really wanted to see that. The late heat wave over the weekend putting an extra challenge on firefighters. Our Ford Hatchet asking Phoenix Fire what they do to prepare for sweltering temperatures during fires and even mountain rescues. We do train for these types of events uh, year round. We do expect to run these these calls even on these hot days, so we are well prepared, we stay hydrated. The Santa Cruz fire has burned over 400 acres now with 0% containment. No structures or homes have been burned, no injuries reported, but several power lines were impacted. It's always nice to not see the valley burning, so um, I know this year seems to be a little bit more mild, which has been nice. For now, officials advise evacuees not to return to their homes. Overnight crews will continue monitoring the fire and reassess in the morning. Josh Cristiano, ABC 15, Arizona.